I was nine. I remember the day a little bit. I remember I was getting food with my dad. I weirdly just didn't want to go to practice. I felt sick, just had no motivation to do sports. And my parents at that point knew something was wrong. So they took me to the hospital. We found out, I think, that day that I had it. Around the time that I got diagnosed, my parents knew what to look for because my older sister, she has diabetes. I really looked up to her growing up because she was in my life every day. She also has this disease, but she's also playing sports. She's also doing living life. I don't think I ever doubted that I could do anything because of it. It affected my daily life. I had to become more self-aware of my body and how my body reacts to things. I had to become more aware of what I ate and when I ate, just things that you don't think of. Yeah, I didn't know that Sarah had diabetes until she arrived on campus. And as she did, you know, I didn't really know what that meant. What I knew is that she'd competed at a high level and done a tremendous job so that she could do it. It wasn't a big deal when, when we found out either. Coming in, I had no idea that she had diabetes. She's struggling with it. If it's taking a toll on her, you just would never know. The Corona Wagons strike out. Groove is back. Seventh of the game. 300th for the season. Sarah Cronawagen is rolling. We get emails from parents who have daughters that have type 1 diabetes. They talk about how Sarah's a role model and how much their kids enjoy watching her play. I think that's really, really a rewarding thing for her. I had my sister growing up, but a lot of kids with diabetes don't have anyone to really look up to in that way. I think that's the awesome part, is just being someone that kids with diabetes can look up to. Someone came up to her and said that her daughter was Sarah Gronewagen for um, Halloween this year, and I just think that was so cool because, you know, I don't know if it has to do with role model because of diabetes or just because of who she is as a softball player, but I just think as a college softball player, a little girl, being you for Halloween is really cool. That's what I'm really hoping to do, is just show people that it can be done. You can come to the Midwest and you can be successful. You don't have to go down south to play on a team. Now we're in the top 10. A lot of it's from Sarah Gronewagen. She's helped us get there and she's just gonna show that you can do it no matter what school you go to. The coaches were a huge decision factor for me. It's the little things that they did like they sent me a Christmas card and I was like wow they know who I am. <laughs> they want me here. <laughs> Yeah, we got lucky with Sarah. You know, she um, she was under-recruited. We recruited her, we, we didn't know she was um, as good offensively as she is, but she's um, quite the ball player on both sides of the ball, and there aren't all that many of those across the country these days, so she's pretty special. I think she's a major key. She's been through it all. Sometimes I get a kick out of it when she strikes a girl out on three change-ups. She's so dominant, it's just sometimes you just can't believe how good she is. Type 1 diabetes is a lot different than type 2. That's because it's hereditary. There's no cure. There's nothing you can do about it. You have to live with it. Being a type 1 diabetic, I'm just really wanting to use my platform as a D1 athlete to show little kids that they can do it. Softball was just added back into the Olympics for Tokyo 2020. And for Sarah, it's great. She's been in the uh, Canadian national team pool for a while now, so I'm sure her dream is Tokyo 2020. She can take our team and the rest of our pitching staff can take our team to new levels that we haven't been to yet. We're going to go far this year. Striking out Christner. One of the biggest strikeouts for Sarah Gronowagen tonight. It gives Minnesota a chance to win it. They always ask questions like, how do you do it? How is it even possible? I would just tell them, you just got to take care of it. It's just a daily thing you got to take care of. It's not impossible. It's going to be hard and it's going to be challenging. But if you really want to do it, you're totally able to do anything that you want to do if you set your mind to it. Mm -hmm.